reading this book called Ghostland, An American History in Haunted Places by Colin Dickey. It's pretty good. Um, I'll just kind of read the sleeve here. Colin Dickey is on the trail of America's ghosts. Crammed into old houses and hotels, abandoned prisons and empty hospitals, the spirits that linger continue to capture our collective imagination. But why? His own fascination piqued by a house hunt in Los Angeles that revealed derelict foreclosures and zombie homes. Dickey embarks on a journey across the continental United States to decode and unpack the American history repressed in our most famous haunted places. Some have established reputations as the most haunted mansion in America or the most haunted prison. Others, like the haunted Indian burial grounds in Louisiana, evoke memories from the past that our collective nation tries to forget. With boundless curiosity, Dickey conjures the dead by focusing on questions of the living. How do we, the living, deal with stories about ghosts? And how do we inhabit and move through spaces that have been deemed, for whatever reason, haunted? Paying attention not only to the true facts behind a ghost story, but also to the ways in which changes are made, are made to those facts and why, Dickey paints a version of American history left out of the textbooks. One of these... Oh, I'm sorry. One one of things left undone and crimes left unsolved. Spellbinding, scary and wickedly insightful. Ghostland shows us that the past we're most afraid to speak of aloud in the bright light of day is the same past that tends to linger in the ghost stories we whisper in the dark. Take a look at the back sleeve here. So that's a picture of Colin. Colin Dickey grew up in San Jose, California, a few miles from the Winchester Mystery House, the most haunted house in America. As a writer, a speaker, and an academic, he has made a career out of collecting unusual objects and hidden histories all over the country. He's a regular contributor to the Los Angeles Review of Books and Lamp Films Quarterly and is the co-editor with Joanna Ebbingstein of the Morbid Anatomy Anthology. He is also a member of the Order of the Good Death, a collective of artists, writers, and death industry professionals interested in improving the Western world's relationship with mortality. With a PhD in comparative literature from the University of Southern California, he is an associate professor of creative writing at National University. He lives in Brooklyn, New York. Actually, the Order of the Good Death um, there is a YouTuber, a uh, social media personality, and uh, what is Ask a Mortician. Ask a Mortician. Her YouTube channel is pretty interesting. Uh, I believe she's like a funeral home director. Um, she's from Hawaii. Pretty cool, pretty funny, um, very interesting uh, history and facts and information in regards to uh any and all things dealing with uh, funeral homes. So there's just some quotes on the back. Um, but uh, what I'll do is I'll I'll read some chapters um, or at least some uh, excerpts here and there um, of Ghostland and American history and haunted places from time to time, just because it's uh, I think it's really interesting. And um, and I just wanted to share that with you all and and, and get your thoughts on it. So. Well, peace, love, smiles, truth, galaxy. Hope you're enjoying your day, enjoying your weekend, and I will talk soon. Peace.